this is social distortion. Can you guys hear the music? If you guys can, uh, give us a thumbs up. Hello! The aces? Yeah, what's up, brother? <coughs> we're just gonna sit here and see who joins and, and smoke a little, and then we're gonna do a yabo and an update and a giveaway, my giveaway for my 43rd birthday reminder. Should we do some housekeeping? Sure. Yeah. I'm smoking my electrified bones. And of course, and I'm almost out. It's like, it's like the tail bottom of the barrel. Eileen's dream. Which is also, yeah, my birthday's on the 9th in three days. Today's the 5th or 6th? What's today? Today's the 5th. It is. My birthday's on the 9th. So the giveaway's over, over on the 9th. I'm smoking on the Prometheus right here. Very nice. And I'm smoking uh, Deadwood Gold. This was received back in March. And nice flavor. And we're drinking uh, very old Barton, bottled in Bond, very tasty, goes perfect with this uh, tobacco. I'm a, um, drinking a whiskey slushy. I like, I like a lot of ice in my whiskey, but hey, I'm a whiskey girl. Doesn't matter how much ice I put in it. I chew most of the ice before it melts anyways. Yeah. So, should we do our giveaway, I mean our... I had to finish my eyes. Should we do our um, yabo? I got a yabo. I'm gonna put this down for a minute. It went out anyways. Um, I got a yabo from our friend, the garbage man Piper, Mel Harris, because I did a painting for him, which I haven't sent off yet, but it will be um, going out soon. What did he say? Asa says, what? Time there, and it's about 5:25 here, um, in North Houston. We're uh, Central U.S. time. So my yabo from Mel Harris says, "Thank you for your amazing talent." He loved painting. He hasn't received it yet, but he said a painting of me created with just a brush and a palette of many colors. You blended to create a portrait of a friend. Thanks again, my friend Mel, the garbage man Piper. He is from our hometown in El Paso, Texas, um, where Skip and I are both from. Ooh, system of a down. So he gave us a bunch of um, golf, tees. golf tees that I'm assuming he meant for us to use as tappers, but we might actually use them for golf too. Who knows? He <laughs> go both ways. And it says El Paso Disposal from the Garbage Man Piper. And just the fact that it has El Paso on it, you know I'm going to take some of these and keep them. Maybe pass a few out as tappers. So I did open the package before the video because I didn't know if I was going to record it or if I was going to um, open it on, on live. So I opened it first to make sure there wasn't anything crazy in it because I know I like to glitter bomb people. Just, you know, heads up for anybody who orders anything or wins anything from me. So we got some Peterson Sunset Breeze. I'm excited to try this one. This one is Cavendish, Virginia, Burley. So it has a bunch of different tobaccos. I want to try that one. But I might, we might hold on to a few of them. We have several we haven't popped open yet that we still need to try. Moon Trance. This one looks amazing. It's exotic fruit and bourbon vanilla. That's right up our alley. Oh yeah. Not only is it exotic, but there's also fruit and, and bourbon. 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 You had me at bourbon. So this is this is way more than I expected because I'm just doing two cigars locally rolled by um, Black. What is it? Black cigar. Black. Black House. Black House. Cigars. 
Um, he's a local cigar um, roller here in, in um, Old Town Spring, which is just south of the Woodlands. We're all still north of Houston. But in my gift to him, I'm only giving him two cigars and my painting. So the fact that he sent me all this tobacco is kind of awesome. Like I, I'm, I'm shocked that people like my art that much. And this is Sabinelli's um, Aramonia. Armonia? Armonia. Armonia. And it doesn't say much about it, but... I can't smell it through the tin, but I want to. I'm very excited because there's nothing on it. So it's like, what can I draw on this? And then this one, I think we're going to have to open for Christmas. It's Hearth and Home Anniversary Flake. Shine like the stars. How do you say the name of this band? The Revivalists? The Revivalists. If you guys haven't looked up The Revivalists, they're phenomenal. And this particular song is kind of our song. It's I Wish I Knew You When I Was Young. So that's it, and a bunch of stuff to keep everything safe, which I will utilize in my future packages. So four tobaccos, you guys. Like, I can't beat that for one painting and two cigars, um, which is what I typically send when I do a trade with my paintings. So sometimes a, a, a pipe that we maybe never used or didn't particularly like, we'll throw in there as well. But um, a lot of times, um, I just do, a painting and a couple cigars. Um, but a reminder for my giveaway, if you guys have not done a video, I have 15 people so far. Um, I kind of want to know what you guys think about me adding all the people who um, made videos or donated for the Peaches because she's one of my absolute best friends. I would consider her family. And we reached out because of some, some yucky junk they were dealing with and um, the YTPC being as phenomenal as you guys are um, you guys came out with hugs support energy you sent good vibes you sent prayers and um, I think the prayers were very 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 powerful and those of you who were financially in a place to help out um, above and beyond what we asked for um, they didn't ask for anything, but I wanted them out of that situation. I knew it would take them several months, possibly some more escalation of the situation, and I didn't want any anything violent to happen. They do. I mean, they. I, I don't know if you if you saw Ace. He just said that they feel a bit better. They do. Um, I don't know if you saw their update video, but it was on Anna's birthday, which was um, yesterday. Yesterday was her birthday. I don't remember, it's the fifth, it's the fourth. Yeah, and mine's the ninth. So um, she was not gonna let that keep her down. And she was excited and uh, beyond, and she's expressed to me too how she's for, at a loss for words at how amazing this community is because I personally think that if there wasn't a zombie apocalypse, the YTPC, we should come up with a, a plan and we should meet up somewhere because we would make as a whole, I think we would make an amazing community. Um, some of us could grow some tobacco, some of us could grow food. I know how to crochet and sew. Um, I make beer. He makes beer. I know how to make, um, I know how to make wine. I'm not real good at it, but I sure would try. Um, I've gardened successfully, not in this yard. We just threw some seeds out. <laughs> I didn't till it or anything, but Okay, so Aces says things like these make a community great. Yes, they do. And I think that if there was an apocalypse, I know there's some people who know how to dry tobacco. I know there's some people who can grow tobacco, and I would sure as heck try. We've actually talked about possibly buying some different tobacco seeds, some different types of tobacco seeds, and trying to grow them ourselves. So if we grow them, if we grow some tobacco, we're going to send some out to some of you guys who I've seen actually... Um, uh, dry it out and pack it up and stuff and see what you guys can make of it maybe add some some flavor to it but seriously if there was a zombie apocalypse 
I definitely think that members of the YPC, YTPC should have some kind of contingency plan where we would meet up, like the ones in Texas, the ones in, anywhere. I mean, if we could find a means to travel, if there was some kind of apocalypse, I think we could make a decent community. We'd be thoughtful, help each other out, protect each other. You know, all the ones here in Texas have guns. I mean, we're Texans. I have some friends in New Mexico who have guns and they have chickens. I'm just saying we could all load up a vehicle and meet up somewhere midpoint and, and take care of each of, other. There'll be plenty of good conversation. Oh, absolutely. Hey, he plays guitar. One of my kids um, plays the cello. The other one of our kids plays the bass. And he's the guitar. So if any of y'all play instruments, I've seen a few of you. I know um, Scoop with the Uke. She plays the ukulele. I mean, come on, we'd have entertainment. We'd have great conversations. We have um, people who are talented, people who have skills that are all different from everybody. Um, Mel Harris can, can teach us how to keep the an area clean and well worth living in. We have people in this community that have so many different talents that I think it'd be phenomenal. So. Anyways, thank you guys to the YTPC members for um, helping Anna and, and Martin out. And don't forget about our um, give, my giveaway for my 43rd birthday in a few days. So if you haven't done a VR, please do one. There's a VR video with the four questions that I asked. Um, there's a video in my produced videos. And... Um, Look that up and make a VR and I'll add you to the list. And if you guys think I should add anyone who like made a video for the peaches or anyone who donated peaches, let me know because I'm kind of considering putting them in the drawing as well. And don't forget that the prizes is a tin of Eileen's Dream because it's my favorite and it's my birthday. Again, two, two cigars, locally rolled cigars, and a painting of your choice. It could be anything from a dragon, to a tree, to a portrait. She drew me a Pokemon ball. I did, I painted a Pokemon ball. I love it, it's great. And a sunflower. She gave me a beautiful sunflower. Oh, this is such a good song. A friend of mine posted this on YouTube and, and tagged me in it. It's called Find Out Who Your Friends Are by Tracy Lawrence and Tim McGraw and Kenny Chesney. I guess they're all in it. So those of you that are in the country. This song is so true. You find out who your friends are when the crap hits the fan. And sometimes your friends aren't necessarily people that are right in your vicinity. Sometimes your friends are people who you've just connected with. That's been proven this last week. For sure. Um... Old Berg, I think? I don't know. So one of, one of you guys out there said you need a VR for your 250 sub giveaway. And he was asking what kind of tobacco blend would you make? If uh, we... I like anything with cherry. I love cherry. So, what that, was that one kind that we bought? The Oso Rojo. Mm -mm. The very cherry. No, it was a very dark, like, tobacco. Oh. That was from the Middle East. Yeah. Oh, Latakia? Latakia. Yeah. We bought a little bag of Latakia, and we bought some very cherry and some um, mild cherry. And then there's, uh, there's other things, too, just um, the Virginias that we've had, the plain Virginias that I've tried. We add tend to add Latakia and cherry to those because... Even though they taste good, because we like the taste of tobacco, um, we both like flavors. But it's funny because when we smoke actual cigarettes, we smoke American Spirit, which are very bland tasting. They taste just like, uh, I don't even know what kind of tobacco is in this. Whole leaf tobacco. It doesn't even say what kind of whole leaf tobacco. But we smoke yellows because they're the lightest. Well. Almost the lightest. Yeah, the, the orange or lighter. I don't know if I could go orange. It'd be like smoking air. 
Who else is. with us? I see that we have four people that have joined us. Say hi. Let us know you're here. Ask us questions. Yeah. I mean, go Astros. They won their uh, first game of the playoffs. So, woohoo! I feel another World Series coming on. So, Aces, who else said hello? Ah, ah. See what, doing it on our phone. I need to start doing um, our live videos on the computer because if we're on the computer, I can see it for a little bit longer. So we've got Resurrected Piper and Aromatics at Aromatic X. Hello. How are you guys doing? How is everyone tonight? We're listening to the White Stripes. Sweet! How's Hello Kitty Piper? I think I need to turn my phone up. We got some good music going on. Oh, she's with her family tonight. Well, tell her we said hello. 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 So all weekend. Oh, I bet you're going to miss her. Skip and I miss each other when we're away from each other just for the day. Yeah. I'm texting him all day. Come home early, babe. I miss you. <laughs> it's been it's It's been since I was a teenager that I've wanted to be around someone this much. It's kind of sad. Kiss me in public? <laughs> That's like super public. That was super public kisses. So, what are you guys up to tonight? What does everybody want to hear from us? Drinking our whiskey. Um, interesting thing I just found out that if you put coarse sand in your pipes, you know, after you've cleaned them out and everything, you put coarse, the, the, what do you call the coarse sand? Gravel? No. <laughs> no, 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 the kind of sand, uh, salt. Did I say sand? You said sand. I meant salt. I didn't mean to say sand. <laughs> uh, cor uh, the coarse salt. What is it called? There's another word for it. Sea salt? Sea salt. No. No. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. There we go. I guess you could use sea salt too. But if you fill up the bowl and you put either Everclear or vodka, gravel. Huh? I know. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving there. That's right. You guys are in Canada, right? Yeah. If you put, if you, um, yeah, Ace is just said for cleaning. Yes. If you put um, the salt in your bowl and you add just a little bit of alcohol like big time strong alcohol like vodka which we don't drink or keep in the house or everclear which we could get for you know a fruit mix drink if we wanted to so that's something that i didn't know we could do and you put just a little bit in there and keep your your bowl kind of tilted and leave it overnight that that then you scrape the bowl out and clean it well that'll clean it real well I didn't know how else to clean these and I don't want to mess it up because I love, I love how this one is starting to get all dark where I hold it. I love it. And there's a couple others that I use that have paint on them from when I use them when I'm painting. And I don't want to get the paint like to come off because that's kind of, you know, my thing. There's paint on my, on my painting pipe. So, um, what do you guys think about um, what I should paint next? I know I have a, my giveaway coming up, but what should I paint next? Next, any suggestions? I I didn't start doing. My my bowl is cashed, so I'm gonna smoke an American spirit. But um, what do you guys think about um, me drawing and painting something else? Like, what kind of ideas are out there? I really love painting fantasy 
like, you know, fairies and gnomes. And um, I actually think of, I want to paint a gnome village with a bunch of really small little gnome houses and some like mushrooms and everything and uh, send it to Dreadlock Piper up in um, Canada because he loves gnomes and I love gnomes. And I was like, I really want to send him something. A cornucopia of pipe stuff. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up for us as well. I know it's Thanksgiving up north, but our Thanksgiving here in the U.S. is, is still a month away. So we have All Hallows Eve, uh, Dios de los Muertos, fall stuff. Maybe I could do some kind of whimsical fall painting. What a, Also, we're trying to come up with a name for Skip. He was a submariner in the Navy for 20 years. Um, his real name's Roy, but we don't want to go with aromatics because, you know, you're aromatics with an X. So, um, what should we do for his name, Skip? Yeah. The Sub Piper. I don't know. Give us some ideas, guys. Come on. I was thinking of Sewer Pipe Sailor because... That's, that was a term for submariners, was a sewer pipe sailor. Sewer pipe sailor. Yeah. And it has the word pipe in it, so. All right, it's not turning up. All right, you guys need to tell me, who is this? Roy likes music. And his. I like music, but I love stuff. You know what? Um, both my children have Roman god names for their middle names. Asa said, what about Greek gods? I've never even attempted um, to paint any Greek gods, but maybe I should. That's a good idea. But um, my son, is, his middle name is Neptune, because when I was pregnant with him, I wanted to be in the water the whole time. It was going to be Nicholas, but it's um, Arlo Neptune. And um, my daughter is um, Brie Vesta, like the, the Roman goddess of the home because I didn't want to leave my house. I wanted people to bring me junk food. <laughs> I was pregnant with her. I think my middle name means uh, wise counselor or something like that. He really is a wise counselor. Greek names. Aren't they Roman names? I thought Neptune and, and Vesta were Roman names. Are they Greek? <gasps> I've been saying Roman this whole time. I don't know. I need to get better acquainted with my Roman and Greek differences. Oh, look. I know I like Star Wars, too. So all you Star Wars people, don't get mad. But I'm wearing to Paul. She is the female Vulcan from Star Trek. So, yeah. Props to the Star Trek folk. How long have we been on? About 20 minutes. We might stop this at 30. It's kind of Cajun, too. To Paul. Yeah, to Paul. And it, she's not in the original Star Trek. I know, nobody's on tonight. And it's Friday. Oh my gosh, this song came out when I was like in the fifth grade. <laughs> How old were you, babe? Uh, I was drinking red, red wine legally, I think. <laughs> yeah, but was the legal age 18 or 21 at the time? Because uh, they kept changing it back and yeah. forth for a while. If you're in the fifth grade, you're old. I was 11. 11. 10 or 11. Okay, so. so you were 18. So you 18. must have been. Yeah. It must have been when the legal age was 18. All right, so do any of you guys know how to actually grow tobacco? Does there, is there a specific soil that it needs? I'm going to have to look all this up because I want to get some seeds. Uh, I'm thinking sandy, well drained soil. When is the God done? Oh, on the 9th. My birthday's the 9th. I will be turning 43. He has some surprises for me this weekend to do stuff. But And my kids have other places they're going. So my giveaway is on the 9th. I will do a random generator and I'll record it. I'm not going to do it live. I'm going to record the, um, the video and then post it on the 9th at some point.
Okay, so weird thoughts. <laughs> weird thoughts. Insects lately have been flying up my nose. I think they're daring each other. Also, if you flick an insect off of yourself, there is a guy in the YTBC. What's his name? Aromatic says there's a guy that grows tobacco. Oh. Also, if you flick an insect off of yourself, you have to be very careful. Because if you flick it, it might flick back on yourself if the wind is the wrong way, or you might flick it somewhere else and it bites you. So be careful flicking insects as well. Maybe that's why they're flying up my nose. Because I flicked them off of me. Just saying. I did mow our yard today. Well, portions of it that weren't muddy because it's been raining nonstop. But I guess I guess we've said everything we need to say. Yeah. I sat in traffic red, off red today. Red, red, make me feel so fun. Yeah, I'm still trying to find a, a good screen name, so if you guys have any suggestions, I am all ears. We're just waiting to see if anybody else wants to say anything before we sign off. I really like the idea of everybody being on their computers and like several different people being able to get on screen at the same time. Aromatic X says he's going to get back to you on a screen name and um, the guy who grows tobacco. All right. Sweet. Well, we love you guys. Um, again, the Y2BC, if anybody wants to like get a place together. Hey, Duke City Piper, what is up? Hey, I, it was raining out there, wasn't it? You're in Arizona, right? No, you're not in Arizona. I saw somebody the day who was there in Arizona and it was a raining cats and dogs. Oh, you're in Albuquerque. You're the one who showed the balloons today. You know, he and I grew up in El Paso and there was the El Paso Balloon Fest also. So when we smoke whiskey, you guys, if our pipes Yup, Albuquerque. Well, we hope to have a really big road trip coming through soon. Maybe we should do meetup. Pipe Cat does the tobacco. Oh, that's right. I told. How could I totally forget that? Pipe Cat grows tobacco. He has a little tobacco. He started from seeds, seedlings. Awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact him. See, this is why I think that the YTPC needs to get a group together. Come up with some meeting spots if there's ever like the crap hits the fan kind of apocalypse scenario that we all just meet up. Skip and I are stocking up on all kinds of stuff. Seeds, guns, bullets. Bullets. Don't don't tell people. <laughs> but it's Texas, so you know. Um our son who is 14 wants to go get his um conceal and carry license. I would totally love to like see someone. Hola amigos. Manzanita, 65. Hola, que pasó? It's already harvested. Well, you know what? There's also greenhouses. You can always grow in greenhouses until it's a season to put it in the ground. Um, when I was younger, the misfits. Oh, good call. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So we get it, we get sidetracked with music real easy. Um, Should we stay on longer, you guys? Boquito Espanol, senor. Sorry, amigo. Should we get a couple cigars instead of smoking cigarettes? We should stay on longer. All right, Duke City Piper. We're here for you, our Albuquerque brother. I'm gonna grab a couple cigars. You guys ask Skip any questions you wanna ask him. He was in the military for 20 years. He's got some stories. The Navy, four different submarines. The stories he tells are amazing. Um, they were even allowed to smoke on the submarine. Can you believe that? Even when they were under. It's pretty flippin' cool. It is, no, it's wine time. I'm, no, I mean whiskey. We have like six bottles of wine and only one of them's open. 
Yeah. We have some wine drinking friends, so. Sorry, right, bro, we barely speak any Spanish. I, I speak a little bit of Japanese. Watashiwa. <laughs> Migato. Come me deshe you know. Oh, I love Port Wine. I'm going to be back. I'm going to go get our cigars and see what we have. So how y'all doing? I have a problem projecting my voice, so I don't know if I'm talking loud enough. Uh, send me some feedback. Let me know if I need to talk louder. Uh, at where? Across the street at um, Church Project or Project Church. Our military is probably pretty lame. I'm trying to think of a screen name for you compared to the U.S. You're Air Medics X, you're in, um, you're in Canada, right? New order. Yeah. I don't know about your military. I don't know much about Canada. I was on, I, I, uh, I was on board a Canadian submarine called the Ojibwa. And, uh, those guys were hardcore. Absolutely. It was a diesel Smoke boat. Smoke piping. It was my a, sad face. It was a diesel boat, very cramped, very harsh conditions, and those guys are real troopers. For uh, so thumbs up for the Canadian. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Sub, sub. And they had beer on board. Woohoo! Did you guys ever have beer on board? <laughs> hey, hi, Mo Piper. Welcome. All right, so this is this box we scored. I don't even know where we got this. Did we get this? Something special. Oh, we got this at a secondhand store called Something Special that helps um, women in women and fam women in crisis. Women in crisis. So, so we got this cigar box, and this is where we keep the cigars that we get. So we do have a little. Um, humidity control thing in there and since inside it's it's kind of humidity controlled anyways because of the air conditioner um it's not as bad and this is a local cigar i don't know i don't remember the name of this one thank you i love this box and this one what's the name of the guy honey that they named this one after what? This is one of those cowboy guys from the movies. This is a clean it Clint Eastwood cigar rolled by one of our local cigar guys. And then of course I always keep a blonde or two around an acid blonde. Um, I think it was um, somebody turned me onto that. And then we have a Macondo Robust, Robust, and an Olivia G series. And then I have a punch imported rare Barojo. You know what, Air Medic X? Um, if you can't get them up there, let me know because you can find these like at the liquor store sell these. How is the Olivia G? Air Medic X had said he did a review on it. Ask Skip to name that, that, that cigar. Gamecock Piper, which cigar does he need to name? So should we try it? Should we do the uh, um, Olivia G then? Aromatic X or? But anyways, Aromatic X. If you want acid blondes, like they sell them super inexpensive uh, here, even at the liquor store. All over the place, yeah. Like. All right, that's what we'll do then. We're gonna do the Olivia G so the aromatic X we can compare. Compare what we think. We're 80s, we're 80s girls and guys here, so. I'll let you start this one up, baby. Here, give me that. Trigger. 
we're trading. Well, see, I've, I've never seen the punches around. I've never really even looked for them. But um, I think that was sent to me by um, someone. Gosh, so many people when I trade stuff that I don't remember who sent what. All I know is that the Acid Blondes, um, the cat Piper guy, I, I did some paintings for him of his cats. And um, he sent me, he told me that his, it's very close to a Cuban aromatic excess. Well, the Acid Blondes, we can get for like two bucks because they sell them everywhere. At any of the um, liquor stores, you can walk in and they're usually right there in the humidors, or humidor or humidifier control little, they have like little boxes right up front. One of my favorite cigars was the uh, Wolf Brothers uh, Rum Tip cigars. And uh, I used to be able to buy them by the box. I can't find them anymore. I guess they went out of business. So, I like those. Oh, totally. Um, what can you guys get in Canada that we can't get here? And just wait, because if um, Aromatic X, you, you guys did a video, a response video, wait till after my giveaway, because after my giveaway, then we'll, um, then we'll make a deal, because I have a painting that I want to do, plus my giveaway painting. That's true. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, we have, like, several brick and mortars. Canadians get Cubans. Yeah, we can't get Cubans here. No. But um, real Cuban cigars. I'm down to trade several of everything for a red, for for a real Cuban. Um, I've had one real Cuban. That's it. How's it taste? It tastes a lot different than it smells. Than it smell before I lit it. It's uh. So before I lit it, it smelled real rich. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to send them. I I had one sent to me, a Cuban. Okay, so it, the question was, um, are you guys allowed to send Cubans to us in the U.S.? I don't know. Didn't they lift the restrictions on Cuban cigars? I don't know. They should. <laughs> Um, it leaves a very earthy taste on your mouth. I know that we can receive them. I don't know if we can buy them in the States yet. But I, I mean, I've received cigars. Uh, I received a Cuban in the mail, so I don't remember by who. I'm pretty sure it was somebody in Canada. I need to keep better track of who. I like this. It's very nice. It's a very earthy, mild flavor. It does, it's not very um, rough. It's not, it's not too strong. Afterwards, I don't regret having it in my mouth. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we could buy or sell them in the U.S., but we can't bring them in, so I can't go to Cuba and get some and bring them back. Okay. I'm going to have to look that up and make sure what I can and can't do. Um, in the small town I was living in before I moved back here, we had a cigar shop and they had a few uh, Cubans that they sold, but they were ridiculous expensive. There's no way I would have spent 40 bucks on a, on a cigar. I mean, at the time I was a single mom, so I'm not going to bust out 40 bucks for a cigar. <laughs> but that's like a half a day's wages. I like both cigars and pipes. Um, I like aromatics and I like pipe, uh, cigars that have really, oh my gosh, they're like 25 bucks there. Shoot, I'm gonna have to 20, send you like 20 um, acids to, <laughs> to catch up instead of get one Cuban. The, the only form of tobacco I really don't like was, was the snuff, you know, the one you snort. 
I never cared for that. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I used to dip tobacco, uh, smoke cigarettes, uh, smoke cigars. I do uh, pipes. And uh, it makes this makes okay. Drinking it with the whiskey makes the whiskey taste really, really sweet. So yeah. that's cool. It, be, because it cancels out the the charred flavors in the whiskey. So it makes sense. If, when, why, what? How much have you got? What are you guys' favorite songs? Oh my God, this is my favorite song of all time. In every single way that you could hear it. Do you want me to leave until it like... See, I like to roll the ash off and some people... Some people like to leave the ash all the way on. So I like the way it rolls off. But I have people look at me all mad and like, you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so um, Montanita65 wants me to do a nose inhale. Hold on. Did I do it? Uh, some of it went up in my nose. <laughs> Is that like a French inhale or something? Yeah, he wanted me to French inhale the oh. cigar. Now I smell it. It's got, oh, that actually did really good in my nose. Okay, so I thought I was sick for like the last few days. But I wasn't. It was allergies. And I think I upset my stomach by taking medication for a head cold or a flu, and it wasn't a head cold or a flu. And so I took allergy meds today, and I felt like a thousand times better. From now on, I'm gonna try allergy meds first. <laughs> Who would have thunk it in the fall that you're gonna have allergies in the fall? But now I smell, I smell like a sweet campfire. Beds are burning. Back in black, Bohemian Rhapsody. Totally. Oh, this is a good one. This is Spearhead. Michael Franti and Spearhead. Um, I think I think the best song ever is uh, I, is Paranoid by Black Sabbath. And that's it, a good song. And the reason is because it's very catchy and it's short, so it leaves you wanting more. Because it's only like a two and a half minute song. And so, like, they end it knowing that you want to listen to it two or three more times. That's me. Shine by Collective Soul. Love that song. That's a good song. Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. I mean, come on. Jane's Addiction. I mean, anything by Jane's Addiction is good, but Jane Says is like the all-time epitome of like 90s angst teenager. <laughs> Um, this cigar kind of, kind of smells like, um, and tastes like a specific kind of wood. Speaking of Jane's Addiction, I love their version of uh, Rock and Roll. The Vel they did a cover of the Velvet Underground's Rock and Roll, and it was sublime. It was perfect. I think my favorite song by Jane's Addiction is uh, what is it called? The Mountain Song? The Mountain Song? I don't know. You want me to look it up? Yeah, look it up. I do want to play Paranoid real quick though. I'm having too much fun. I don't want to get off. Paranoid by Black Sabbath. I love you. I do want to get off. You want to get off? <laughs> he wants to get off, but not not on yeah. uh, not here. <laughs> I don't want to get off on YouTube. <laughs> He's dirty. Mike Not Screaming Br Brittle Sirens by Mike. That's war pigs. It is a very big cigar. The Kinks, of course. Anything by The Kinks is oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, I like The Kinks. All right, so here's Paranoid. Can you guys no, hear the music? No, this is War Pigs. Oh, this is War Pigs. Yeah. Okay, um, 
Can you guys hear the music? Can you guys hear this? Crank it up. It's all the way up on my phone. Yeah, I got a lame phone, so sorry guys. This is a very big cigar, but okay, I think Aromatic X, help me out. Is it like a, a oaky flavor? Because it reminds me of... I'd say mesquite. Mesquite? That's what I Maybe. Because like, um, growing up we did lots of different cabinets and, and building of houses and whatnot because we were poor. I don't have white privilege. We had to all work and grow our garden in order to um, eat. <laughs> and sometimes we had to trade with other people who we went hunting to eat, so. I've never had it well off just because of the color of my skin. Because that's my mom's side of the family, they're Irish. My dad's side is Navajo, so. I don't have white privilege, I don't even know what that is. So, uh, growing up really poor, we had leftover wood from cabinet work that we had to do, or um, if we rebuilt an old, uh, Ford and use some wood products inside of it um, we would use that leftover wood to keep us warm in the winter so we had oak we had cherry we had mesquite my son this is Arlo he's the 14 year old he's coming out to say hi come on son say hi to everybody hello sit down here hi so that's the one who knows the bass and he's teaching himself the guitar also. I also know bass. And Duncan also knows bass. And cello. Come say hi, Duncan. Who is it? It's our um, it's YouTube. YouTube. Oh. You guys can come down. Look. It's everybody. It's everyone. What's up, Bruce? That's Duncan. I, I, I thought it was Paul. No. That's Duncan and Arlo. Mo Piper says hi to you guys. Oh, Don't worry, I should hi. And um, oh, that music is loud enough now. <laughs> All right, thanks. But, um, so my son and I had a, a Ace says hi guys. My son know. and I had a head banging contest and I, I had a headache and my neck hurt the next day. <laughs> and Aromatic X says hey guys. How you doing? Hello. So um, this is our 16 year old Duncan. And that's the 14 year old Arlo. Hey. So that's who we talk about when we're talking about the boys. Uh, the 18 year old um, has red hair. Okay, he, he shaved it all off. But he's he moved out and he's living on his own, doing his own thing. And our 11 year old girl is a little camera shy. So she probably won't come out here and get on the video. But um, those are the boys. Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys have questions for us? No. Yeah. You guys just want to see what we're doing? Yeah. Well, I saw him come out here and I heard Arlo and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I wanted to come see what it is about. I have stage dive before good old mosh pit days. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, funny story. Funny story that I was at. Um, oh, um, don't tell anyone. Our son wants to try it. Don't inhale. Oh, yeah. Our son wants to try the cigar, so we're letting him try it. Well, both of them. Uh, we kind of go with the European ideal of things. If they want to try things, we sh they should try it at home. So they'll take um, hits off of the cigars. Um, they've both smoked, tried different tobaccos. And if that's bad of us, well, sue us. But I'd rather them try it here with us. I like this. Then. <laughs> you're not supposed to inhale. We don't have any dark chocolate in the house. Oh, yeah, by the do. way, a good tip. If you inhale a cigar and it makes you sick to your stomach, eat some dark chocolate. It'll settle your stomach right up. So. Actually, we do I, have dark chocolate. Where, oh, I'll that's just owe right. Myself a dollar. You just oh, he's selling chocolate for orchestra. <laughs> yeah, it's a fundraiser. So um. He's ever the salesman. I know, right? So if any of you guys want to buy some chocolate, <laughs> just kidding. He has to trade it on Monday. Right. I mean, I'd rather my kids taste beer and wine at home, um, or whatever they want to try, or smoke pipes at home with us, than go out and do the things that Skip and I did, because we live right by the border of Mexico. So we got to go to Juarez instead of hanging out with our parents at home. We went to Mexico and did things we probably should not have done. 
okay. Lots of things that we won't we won't mention. We didn't do any of that. But we're pretty open and honest with our kids. Um, we won't tell you everything that's been going on in the house. But yeah, we Why have to not? keep we have to keep all the all, all the uh, kids downstairs now because they all have um, girlfriends or boyfriends. Okay, the boys have girlfriends at the moment. I know she's a girl. Yeah, she's a girl. And so we have to make sure they all stay downstairs. The joys of having teenage children. What if they're, I get my door taken off? They're, they're not happy with us. And we did say that we could take the doors off. Because it doesn't uh, matter because my computer's not in my room. Well, then stay downstairs. What? I want to be upstairs. Teens arguing with us. Yeah. So I'm okay with taking my door off. And um, Arlo's room is set up like an apartment. It's really funny. You don't have a mini fridge, though. I got bored. The li party life, grade 8th and 9th. You partied in the 8th and 9th grade? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I was at least a sophomore. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. What's my story? And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but see, we lived in El Paso, and Garbage Man Piper could probably attest to this. Um, in the 80s and 90s, it was really safe to cross the border for a dime and come back for a quarter. And you could go down to Mexico and drink 10 bucks, you get 10 shots of tequila. No, no, no. For a dollar, you can get 10 shots of tequila. It was the dime shots. I mean, they were yeah. Sprite, half Sprite and half tequila shots, and they were called Slammers. But for a dollar, you get 10... Oh, you did crazy stuff when you were young. Air Medic X. Yeah, me too. It was the 80s and 90s. The 80s and 90s, you could do stuff and still be okay. Nowadays, you can't do anything without getting in trouble. I think it's kind of sad. You can't even laugh during the same movie anymore. It's like... I read a whole article about how you cannot watch Animal House and laugh about it because... That's a freaking funny movie. It's a funny movie, but if you laugh during certain scenes, you'll be dead. We've had a rich friends with parents who are never home. Oh, I had a few of those. Yeah, the west side of El Paso. We did. We had some friends that whose parents were always traveling for business, and so we had parties there. But you know what? I don't know if you guys remember that movie. I feel like I'm shouting. Okay, you guys know that movie. Um... Oh, bird's eye, Briar. Hi, how are you? Which pipe are we smoking? Olivia Series G. We're smoking an Olivia Series G. It's not a pipe. It's, it's, yeah, we've already smoked our pipes and cigarettes, so now we're on a cigar. You know, tobacco. Yeah. So, um, the Sick. Olivia G is really good, by the way. I know Aromatics X has an actual um, video about it, so it's so huge. Like, we've both been sharing it, and then both our teenage boys came out and tasted it. So, and we're, it's still going. Is this your Russian band? Uh, no, they're... Escabuto. Escorbuto. Are they Mexican? Yeah, they're South American. South American metal band. Ooh, another weird thought, you guys. Okay, so somebody once told me that angels, like, even just speaking to us, would, like, blow our eardrums, right? So if angels' voices are that intense, wouldn't Christian metal still be considered, like worship because if angels sing to God and their voices are that intense I'm sorry but Christian metal still is worshiping God so when people have that like argument that that can't be worshiping God that's not that's not mellow enough angel voices will blow our eardrums so just saying hello uh, George Bird, bird's eye briar is saying hi to George and Mo how about Christian ska Christian ska bands I love you OC Super Tones. Yeah. So what are you guys all drinking tonight? What drinks are being partaken of this evening? Oh, I don't want any more of this guy. I'm good. I think so too. Aromatic X thinks that worship is a spirit thing anyways. And I agree a thousand percent. I've just had people tell me that like uh, Christian metal 
can't be worship. And I'm like, why not? Why can't it be worship? I mean, if the angels' voices would break our eardrums, possibly even kill us, then and then obviously it's pretty intense. So, and I've heard some Christian metal that's pretty intense. <laughs> Super tones. Cornerstone 2000. Nice. I Inus and Gun and Insiders. You have a Pepsi. Birds Eye Briar. Do you not drink like alcohol? Like, I don't want to force you to drink alcohol. I'll drink it for you. It's okay. <laughs> I have friends that are non drinkers that I don't drink with them when I'm hanging out with them. And I can have a good time without booze. I really, really can. And I have. If there's karaoke and music, I don't need booze. <laughs> but if I have booze, I'm even more fun. But no, I, I can have. I can have fun. <laughs> without. Do you want to um, load my load my pipe with some deadwood gold? Are you sure? Are you sure it's cash? Yeah, look. It, was, it wasn't much. My Eileen's dream is like out. Oh, hey, Ben! How's Georgia treating your family? Ben the Bagpiper just joined us. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I want to go to a four-day Christian festival. I hear ya. We we have all this leftover booze from the wedding, which we still don't have a video of. And once we get it, we will put it up. But it was pretty awesome. The guys danced. It was great. We're doing good, Ben. We miss you. I know you. I know I've been really busy and I've been sick. And this the beginning of this video was a lot of um, thanks for people helping out. Whereabouts? In Canada, um, Aromatic X said that there was a four-day Christian rock festival. See, I've been to hippie festivals like the Further Fest when Jerry Garcia died. I, it's showing my age again. Um, and other, you know, Ford festivals and stuff where we camped out. I'm using the tamper you made me, Ben. Look at that. Arr. Ben the bagpiper made me. This is my very first tamper. Greensboro. Sweet. Um, he made me this because I didn't have... Oh, in Illinois. Cool, cool. I, we need to do, do something like that with the kids. I want to take them on some festivals, but we're trying... It's amazing. I love it, Ben. Thank you. Um, anyways, about music festivals. Um... I want to take the kids to Europe, to backpack through Europe. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before Duncan graduates, because he graduates in two years. But um, I really, really, really want to take the kids on some music festival this summer, like to camp out. My daughter hates camping out because she's camped out on the beach like four times. She's camped out in the mountains where um, she has had ants attack her, so she doesn't like camping, and I want to take her to a, a camping environment that she'd like, where there's like drum circles and people having fun. But yeah, this was my very first tamper. Ben, the bagpiper, made it for me. You hit up your top shelf last weekend. What was on your top shelf? They're all toxing, am talking amongst themselves, so I'm going to let them. Any music you guys want to hear? Country songs? We might have to end this soon, because I'm... Oh, it's a cigar lounge. Oh, sweet. Um, I want to I wanna head out, okay, my cousin lives in, in Georgia, like past Athens, so we'd have to go through Athens to go see her. I'd love to go and see you when we go through. Hey, and what do you guys think about, be, okay, so Greencock Piper says, Athens is aged Dunhill Tins. I'm not drinking, so no country. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. How about we look at online music? Um, stations, all 90s? Yeah, I would love to like come and see ya. 
I was living, listening to country earlier, and it was pretty awesome. Ooh, thanks, babe. Bye, Aromatic X. It was awesome seeing you. Okay, so a bunch of them are talking about a brewing place in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, just north of El Paso. Wow. There was uh, that's where I went to college. Um, I'm an Aggie, but a New Mexico Aggie, and our football team sucked, so nobody knows about us. Um, there was uh, several places that had uh, we had lots of microbreweries there. Oh, I remember a place in the '80s. Uh, it was monks. It was monks making wine. Monks making wine? Yeah, and it was somewhere between El Paso and Las Cruces. Well, you guys, we've been on for an hour, so I think we're going to call it quits. See who else is online, maybe hit up some other videos. But thank you guys for joining us. Thanks to YTPC for not only like hitting our goal with the peaches, but um, per, uh, surpassing it because they they found a place and put a deposit down. So they're out of there. Um, don't forget my giveaway. It's on the 9th. Thank you guys all for watching and hanging out with us tonight. I want to try that video thing where we all get on and we can all video chat together. I'll run over to mine tomorrow and let you know. I don't know if you guys are talking to us or each other. I think each other. Because I have no clue what you're talking about. But um, love you guys. You guys have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to celebrate my birthday this weekend and then do my giveaway on Tuesday. So um, love you guys. Hey, Ben, give your wife and kiddos hugs for us. And we love you guys. Cheers. I will absolutely let you know when we're coming through. Bye, Mo. Have a good one, guys.